Hey everybody, we're gonna be talking about five, yes, five out-of-pocket expenses that a buyer will incur when they are going to purchase a home. So we're just gonna dive right on in and let's talk about some of these expenses. Number one, you are gonna have an earnest money deposit and an earnest money deposit is kind of like a good faith gesture to a seller that you're serious about buying their home. And the rule of thumb is that your earnest money deposit is roughly 1% of whatever your purchase price is. So if you have a $300,000 purchase price, your rule of thumb for your earnest money deposit would be around $3,000. Now, it's not a hard, fast rule. It doesn't have to be $3,000, but it is just the rule of thumb. So your second expense that you need to be prepared for is your inspection. And we highly, highly recommend that you get an inspection. That inspection is there to make sure you're not buying a lemon, right? You're not uh, walking into um, a house with you know, $50,000 worth of repairs that you didn't know existed. So these home inspections can uh, run different costs depending on the square footage of the house, uh, the area that you're in, the inspector that you use, um, but they can be anywhere from, you know, a couple hundred dollars. Uh, I've seen them all the way up to, you know, seven, eight hundred dollars. Um, I would say your average is probably right around five, six hundred dollars at least for this time period. And so be prepared to spend that money on a good home inspector and getting a good home inspection on the home that you're wanting to purchase. All right, you guys, the third out-of-pocket expense is an appraisal. When you have an appraisal done, it means you're getting a loan from a bank and that is how you're purchasing the house. Now, if you have cash, you're not required to have an appraisal, um, but when you are getting a loan, most often the bank is going to require an appraisal to be done. Now you guys, the appraisal is the eyes for the bank um, to make sure that there are no health and safety hazards in the home and that the house is not maybe being over, you know, grossly overpaid for. Uh, so your appraisal, and you guys, this is also gonna vary a little bit, can run you somewhere around um, you know, a couple hundred dollars, five, six hundred dollars to, I've seen them all the way up at certain times in the market at $2,000. So there's quite the gamut there, although $2,000 is not the norm, I have seen that for very difficult properties to um, that are to appraise. So just be prepared for probably, you know, a $750, $800 appraisal uh, when you are going to purchase a home if you're getting a loan. All right, number four. Hope you guys are writing these down. Here we go. Number four is your closing costs. So closing costs are going to be things like, um, you know, prepaid taxes, prepaid property taxes, because you will prepay those for the year. Um, they could be title fees. They could be lender fees. Your closing costs are going to just be kind of all these fees lumped into this one category that we call closing costs. Now, the good news about closing costs is occasionally a seller will be willing to help pay for some of or all of those closing costs. So when you're purchasing a home, if that's something that your lender states that you need to be asking for, it's something we can ask for in the offer to see if a seller is willing to help cover some of those closing costs for you. Um, all right, next one. And last but not least, uh, your down payment. Now, there are programs out there that allow you to put zero down, and there's also programs that are three and a half percent down, 5% down, 10% down, 20% down, right? There's lots of programs and lots of different amounts that you will want to put down on the property when you're purchasing it. Now, there's a lot of different strategies around how much money you put down. If you put down 20% or more, then usually you're not having to pay what we call PMI, um, which is mortgage insurance. So if you do less than 20%, you're gonna wanna calculate in that part of your monthly payment will probably include uh, mortgage insurance. So that's for a discussion with your lender to strategize and figure out what down payment and what loan program is right for you. But you guys, those are the five out-of-pocket expenses that a buyer will incur when they are purchasing a home. So just a quick recap, your earnest money deposit, your inspection, your appraisal, your closing costs, and your down payment. So 
Make sure that you're scheduling with a real estate agent to sit down and create a game plan for your home buying process, your home buying strategy. Even if you're a year out, I highly recommend doing a consultation simply because it will give you a good game plan to know what you need to do between now and then to be in a really good position to buy a home and to be prepared for that. So hope you found this information helpful. We'll see you on the next video.